Yell here, the big host for the big fans. You play both like kick ass women on this show. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, what is it like? It feels like it's a, a show about a bromance, but it's not a show about a bromance. There's some bromanciness there, but you're right. There are so many other storylines and elements that don't make it just that. Yeah, yeah. you can't name one thing that the show is about. It would be impossible <laughs> because Max Landis's brain doesn't work like that. Um, and we get to see you both kick ass in season one. What are we going to get to see you doing in season two? Are you still like badass women? She, get, she becomes a lot more badass, I think. Oh, yeah. I mean, do you see this? Oh, Show them the, the, yeah. I love Do you it. See this? Yeah, that's happening. Um, yeah, I mean, last year Wait, I. Is this for the show or is this oh, you? Yeah, check it, check it, check it. That's wow. for. That's I'm, for... I'm putting a microphone to your hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like your hair's gonna talk. Rowdy. No, I mean, Amanda's full rowdy three now. So last year she was scared and stuck in her house and she was very strong in a lot of ways, but this year she actually gets to have the physical embodiment of that and, and be with the energy vampires. Awesome. And do we get to see more fighting? Oh yeah, I mean, Farah <laughs> kicks ass on a random Tuesday. Um, but there is, there's more of that in this season, and I think there's a lot of um, butt kicking for all of the women this season. It's been amped up, I think, for all of us, which is really exciting. I mean, um, a lot of it takes place in um, Bergsburg, tiny town in Montana, from the mind of Max Landis, Bergsburg. And um, uh, a lot of it also takes place in this magical land we've got going on this season called Wendemore. Um, it's really exciting. I feel like people who want, who will love that, who love that element, the action-packed part of the show are really going to be satisfied. If you could describe season two with a hashtag, what would you say? I know it. I got it. Oh, wow, you were like, I got it. I got it. it. I got it. Because <laughs> I want to coin this. Sam probably has already done it already. Did it. Did it. That is the hashtag. It's hashtag did it for with this the, With the snap? With the snap. I don't know if you can add that to the hashtag. How do you do snap? No. I'll figure Just it out. I'm going to figure it out. Did, did it. Did it, snap. Yeah, did it. I would say hashtag yeah. magic. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. I'm really excited. I want to really quickly talk a little bit about, I'm a big SVU fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so your episode is one of my favorite episodes. Thank you so much. That's so nice. You were very wonderful. And I just had to take a moment as an SVU fan to it's tell you that. One of the saddest episodes, I think, they've ever done. I mean, yeah. at least of what I've seen, it's so dark and sad, but it's unfortunately um, really accurate and is a true portrayal of what actually does happen to these women. So and it absolutely was ripped from the headlines based yeah. on a true story yeah. and then taken uh, SVU ways. Yeah, you know, Belle Knox actually, who I was playing, um, she uh, was a huge fan of SVU. Um, so I'm glad that her story got to be told and hopefully it'll help some people. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. It's great to thank meet you. you.